Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the process of streaming an Amcrest IP camera to a web browser using FFmpeg. I'll put a link below to that video. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can stream video from an Amcrest IP camera directly to a web browser, but you're limited on your resolution. So this might work with other cameras too because Amcrest and other cameras will often use similar hardware and they'll use a lot of the same APIs. So I have two cameras here I'm going to demonstrate this on. I'll just log into them. And I have this URL here, and I'll put a link below to my website where I have this URL where you can copy and paste it. So I'm going to copy this URL into a tab here, and we'll get a username and password. And this is the username and password for the camera. So I'll type that in. And here we have a stream of the camera. So this is an MJPEG stream and it's limited to 640 by 480. So you can't make this any bigger. So if we go into the camera and we go to setup and go to video, you can see we have our main stream and then we have the substream and that's set to motion JPEG. So down below here we have a bit rate and it's currently at 3580, let me reset it. I need to change the encode mode back to motion JPEG and I'll hit save. And you can see here the bitrate is 512. So if we go back to our stream and let me refresh this, see we have a lower quality here. So you need to crank the bitrate up a little bit to get decent quality. Let's go to 2048. You can see that's a little sharper there. So now I'll go to the second camera. And I'm going to set up here and I'm just going to video on the left under camera is where I'm getting to this. That's set up for motion JPEG. Let's copy this URL. And there we go. And you can kind of see this banding here. Let's see if we can adjust it a little bit. If the bit rate is 1280. Let's just change this to 2000. Didn't seem to make much of a difference. Oh, it looks like it didn't let me do that. It went back to 1280, so it might be limiting that. I could try lowering the frame rate. I don't know if that will make a difference or not. Let me try. That seems a little bit better. So the differences between using this technique and the previous technique is that this uses motion JPEG, so it's a lower quality and it's a higher bit rate for the quality you're getting. And I don't know if you could do this on like 20 different computers, I'm not sure if it could handle that. But the other option I showed could scale up to millions of computers if you had a system that could handle that. It looks like we have the banding back here, I wonder if that changed. Now it says bit rate is 512. Yeah, it's showing that banding again. So one advantage of this is that you can bookmark this. So you can click the bookmark in your browser and have this image come right up. So you could have your camera of your doorstep and you could watch for a package and you don't need to see every single detail of that. You just want to know when the box shows up so you can go retrieve it. And this does work on other browsers too. I'll switch over to Firefox. And there we go, it came up. So it does look like it will stream to multiple browsers. There we go in Chrome. So this is a very compatible thing. I think this works on the iPhone, iPad also. It probably works on Android too, since it's just streaming motion JPEG, which is kind of like a series of JPEGs. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.